if you look at all of human history, there are waves. And um, I, I did a study once of um, food gets very elaborate. And, and this, it, this is really has to do with you know, politics and class more than anything else. But um, food, food gets very elaborate. And then in response to that, it gets simple. And, and you can really follow it in every human society throughout all time. So what we're seeing, what we've seen is, you know, from this, you know, time of, of you know, great elaboration to this kind of simplicity is really something that has happened over and over and over again. Um, and I also think that it has something to do with the fact that um, we have the role of restaurants in America has changed fairly dramatically in the last 30 years, where um, restaurants used to be something, I mean, if you get rid of the idea of like diners and places like that, and just you know, the, the restaurant experience, used to be pretty rarefied and something that people did mostly you know, on, a, on big occasions. And now, I mean, we are a restaurant coming, certainly in, in big cities in America, we're a restaurant culture. People go out all the time. Um, you have a different, people going to restaurants for very different reasons. Um, and um, it is very expensive to make money if you're the kind of chef that Danielle and that generation of chefs were, where you know they started working. I mean, very young for no money, um, but we still have um, a, a actually growing internship apprenticeship um, thing happening, which is like changing the economics of restaurants again, where suddenly there's tons of free labor in restaurants, which didn't happen until like maybe four or five years ago. So I think you're going to see a, a new kind of elaboration because it's just possible. There are so many kids who want to be chefs now that they'll go work for a few years for nothing rather than going to cooking school. 